Sagittarius. Welcome to your Halloween reading. Um, Sagittarius, in an effort for me to get these readings out in time, um, to be prepared for me to go out of town tomorrow, I, I went ahead and I took your cards ahead of time to conserve, conserve time. So um, thank you for understanding. Now, I've labeled everything with Halloween, you know, things we have, what's going on, dreams or nightmares, what the current situation is, things of that nature. And I've given them Halloween titles. So the energy surrounding you right now is your own energy, that of temperance. Temperance is a, a very much a card of finding balance, a card of releasing stress. And what I'm seeing here based on all the cards that come out is there is a strong internal energy for you, Sagittarius, which doesn't surprise me because there's a lot of movement um, with regards to your 12th house. And so I'm not so surprised to see this, but it's a strong internal energy. We have an inner, internal energy of trying to figure out, you know, where to put your energy, how to focus on things in order to feel a sense of peace and stability, right? We have this energy of assessing the situation here, assessing the situation here, and, and trying to figure out your direction. So we have several cards that have to do with movement and taking action, but also have to do with confusion. And so there's a lack of balance with regards to these two situations in your life, Sagittarius. And they all may be surrounding one in particular situation. Um, very likely could be something regarding your financial stability or your career. Some aspect of your life that makes you feel a sense of stability. And with the world card, I do feel that there has been some sort of cycle come to an end in your life. And there's a need for you to, to experience a sense of excitement about moving forward. But... I do see you're taking action, it's just not super fast action because it's not clear how to do so. We have this sense of confusion here in the skeleton closet is something that you're not expressing. So if you're working with another person or you're working with a group of people, you're not expressing this sense of confusion, right? Maybe it's something you're keeping to yourself in your thoughts. And then with the hangman here, which is working in your favor, you're having to look at things from different angles. You're having to analyze your future movement to determine what is best for you, what is right for you. We also see that here with your advice card of the high priestess to get really in touch with the things that cannot be seen or understood, right? To get really in touch with those different perspectives. Now, there is a warning for you, Sagittarius, that if you do not release some of the stress and burden, you could go through a period of burnout, a period of apathy, a period of not quite caring about what happens next, right? Just kind of letting life pass you by. So just be cautious of that. And we have some, some fears here that showed up for you. Uh, one of these is a very stubborn energy, Sagittarius. This particular card says reason, listen to advice, think clearly in intellect. Uh, and the reason this is showing up in your fears is I feel that there's somebody in your life who may have given you some advice in the past that led you down a wrong pathway, that led you down a path that was not working out in the way you had hoped. And so this is a very stubborn energy of saying, I'm going to figure out my own direction. I don't need your help. I don't need your input. I don't need your help. You're fearing being led in the wrong way, which is why you're taking that solo responsibility for your life, which is actually good, but just be careful of this fear. And then we have hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. Um, this is in your fears as well, in our goblins under the bed, the fears, right? So there's somebody in your environment, it could be a friend, it could be a business partner, it could be a workmate. Um, I don't really see love anywhere in here in your spread, so we haven't taken cards yet though. So it feels more like this is like a workmate, a business partner, a friend, maybe a family member, somebody who's very aggressive and may be taking steps that you feel uncomfortable with. We see the uncomfortable energy here with the Seven of Cups that you're keeping hidden. We see action, which is great, and forward movement, but it's almost like you you fear upsetting the apple cart with this person, whomever this person is. So let's see what else we can find out for you. All right. 
So we have the Queen of Swords. She keeps coming out today. That's uh, Libra Virgo, the Tower, Scorpio, the Angel of the Night. Good, good, good. I like to see that card. The Ace of Wands, Fire, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Capricorn Energy, the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the energy of the King of Pentacles at the bottom, which is Taurus and Aries. That's fantastic. So having this Angel of the Night card come out, Sagittarius, indicates that all the dark times that you've been dealing with are about to be released. They're about to be replaced with good, positive movement. So all of this internal energy of assessing your direction, figuring out how to move forward, is working in your favor. So keep doing more of that, but make sure to release the stress and strain. The Queen of Swords indicates that all of this introspective energy, you'll be able to determine your way forward. We do have a tower moment coming up, so this may be something unpleasant that comes up with the full moon. Just be aware of that. It is a time that's gonna pass by relatively quickly. It just may feel uncomfortable for you, so just be aware of that. There is a new beginning coming as well, and it looks like Whomever this is that you're working with, we have a card of collaboration. So I do think that you are going to find a way to deal with this aggressive person and this person who's trying to push their advice and their, their guidance on you. You are going to find a way to work with this person and it's going to work in your favor because you have the stable king of pentacles who's perseverant and always gets to his end goal. So if you're trying to build something on the financial front, I see it happening but we've got a roadblock, okay? Sagittarius, have an absolutely beautiful day. Love and light to you. See you later. Bye-bye.